Elite Facts presents Top 10 Unsolved Murders from Around the World 10. This young couple was last seen leaving a Valentine's Day dance in 1971. They were found 13 days later tied to a tree in a secluded spot of Orange County, North Carolina. The killer strangled his victims before allowing them to regain consciousness over and over again. The case remains unsolved. No suspects have ever been officially named due to a lack of evidence. 9. The Ketty Murders is an unsolved 1981 American quadruple murder. The murders took the lives of Sue Sharp and three of her children. The youngest, Tina, was kidnapped never to be seen again. Two other kids slept through the whole thing. Three years later, they found Tina's skull 29 miles away. Reports now show that the investigation was completely botched, leaving many unanswered questions. No one heard any screaming coming from the Sharp house on the night of the murder. Why were the three boys left unharmed and able to sleep through the entire night during such brutal murders? And why was Tina the only one who was kidnapped? 8. In 1988, a wealthy couple was brutally attacked inside their Long Island home. Their 17-year-old son, Marty, awoke that morning to discover his mother murdered in her bed. His father, Seymour, was lying unconscious in his study with his throat slit. After Marty called 911, his father was taken to the hospital and remained in a coma for 29 days before passing away. Marty confessed to the murders and was sentenced to 50 years in prison. However, he maintained that he was coerced into confessing by a detective, telling him his father told them he'd done it. Marty always insisted the most likely suspect was Jerry Stewerman, his father's partner. Stewerman owed his father $500,000, and one week after the murders, he made the bizarre decision to move to California, where he started living under a new identity. Marty was eventually released. 7. 35 years after the Zodiac Killer claimed his first known victims, California was shaken by a brutal double murder that brought back memories of his crimes. On August 14, 2004, Jason Allen and his fiance Lindsay Cutshell were visiting California. After finding no rooms at the local motel, the couple decided to spend the night camping on Fishhead Beach. Four days later, their bodies were discovered on the beach in their sleeping bags. They were both shot in the head by a 45 caliber rifle while they slept, and there were no signs of any struggle. 6. In 1970, 20-year-old Sandra Garcia left her home with her fiancé, John Hood. The couple was carrying a blanket and some food as they headed toward East Beach near Santa Barbara. The couple never returned home, and their bodies were found atop their blanket on the beach the next morning. John was stabbed 11 times, and Sandra was so badly mutilated that she was almost unrecognizable. The murder weapon was a bone-headed fish knife, which was buried in the sand beneath their bodies. Nothing was stolen, and Sandra was not sexually assaulted, so there seemed to be no motive for this crime. 5. Mao Yi Sun and his wife, Mei Zi, along with their two young sons, were murdered inside their Cypress, Texas home in March of 2014. The victims were each shot in the head four times. No suspects have been named and no leads have been brought forward by the Chinese community in which they lived. Police received a number of tips, but there was never enough information given to lead to the name of a suspect. The case remains unsolved. 4. In 2000, the Mayawaza family was found stabbed to death, except for the son, who was strangled. Investigators believe the killer spent up to 11 hours in the family's home after killing them, using their computer and eating ice cream before leaving the next morning. While clothing, one of the murder weapons, and some fingerprints were found, no suspects have been named. About 190,000 officers have been involved in this case, and 40 of them are still actively working on it. 3. The Robinson family murders, also referred to as the Good Heart murders, were the killings of the upper middle class Robinson family, who were spending the summer vacationing in their Lake Michigan cottage. One day, while some ladies were playing a game of bridge, they noticed a foul smell coming from a nearby cabin. The ladies came upon the house only to find the entire Robinson family rotting in the summer heat, where they had been dead for over a month. They were beaten, shot, and killed amongst overturned furniture and broken glass. 2. 
In 2011, Agnes DuPont and her four children were shot and killed with a 22 caliber rifle with a silencer on it while asleep in their beds, along with their two Labradors. Their father, Xavier, immediately became the prime suspect as he abruptly disappeared after the murders, had a mistress to whom he owed money, and had a failing business. He had also called the children's schools, informing them that the family was emigrating, as well as terminating the lease on their house. When police went searching for the family after a missing persons report was filed, they discovered a severed leg poking out of the garden. The bodies were individually rolled up in sleeping bags, covered in lime, and buried underneath the patio in the backyard. 1. In 2009, Australian news agent Min Lin, his wife, sister-in-law, and two sons were bludgeoned to death overnight. The weapon was never found. Lin's brother-in-law was arrested and put on trial for the killings. Prosecutors claim he sedated his own wife first, then walked over to the Lin house and cut the power as he was able to navigate through the dark of the home. He then smashed in the adults' faces before murdering the children. There has still been no decision. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.